Nancy Drew, I presume. Trying to find I'm a job, family trusting me to get Welcome a job. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was just checking the lock Jesus. on this display case. That's, this yeah. is one of the museum's most treasured That's rough. pieces. A carving of King Pakal. Who was I, I was Pakal assumed the throne on the job hunt for uh, imagine? That was most of the past AD. year. Or most of... For 68 years at the height of yeah, the so like most of 2017 slash Jade? beginning of 2018. Yes, the Maya loved Jade and uh, it's definitely rough when you don't have your family supporting you in that. And it's priceless, so. which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? But I believe in you. Leave I think you'll be able to do it. He's a wizard when it comes even to if uh, your body won't even let you. It seems. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber it just is takes not a lot stuff. of Franklin perseverance. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right. Especially when it's hard to, to like. Babysit. Demonstrate your, your results is. or There's lack thereof to other people. Father. It's the value of hard work. Just tell me where to start. There's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Where's the rest of the staff around here? We've had to make some uh, budget cutbacks, so we'll be relying heavily on our volunteer well, staff. I, I hope at the least that this can help you. you get back into it, have a <laughs> nice Taylor sort of you know relaxing afternoon, you evening, Taylor Sinclair, wherever my ace you are. Dealer <laughs> and Alejandro Del Rio, attaché to the Mexican consulate and executive thorn in my side. Tell me more about Alejandro Del Rio. Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. What purpose did the monolith serve? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what You know I'm still was. grinding. Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon. I don't know, I thought I'd be happy with the 57, but I'm really not. He's the latest so, addition to the beach we're gonna try to get a 56 and see I how I feel then. I don't even wanna see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Topeka commission for the art. Bull has been spectacularly okay. awful today, though, so uh, we'll see how, if I can... Get anywhere near a 56 this rate. Ooh, a 251, dang. Let's watch it not matter after I get a terrible bull. Yeah, okay, there it is. I was like, there's... I, I can't get the, the god bull, you know, twice in a one-week span. This is still very good, though, so far. I am not complaining at all about this. Yeah, okay, wow. Or should I say, this is ridiculous. I'm Sinclair. That was a 53 second bull. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm a fan of that. Wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Well, I'm not on a I didn't expect to be on 56 pace after just bull, but I'll take it. So, I will take it. Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Do diamonds count? Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. I just gotta so, not screw up everything else. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. What scoundrels? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. Where's your office? It's for four hours. Ooh. Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Oh, well, okay. That was... Yeah, four hours in the middle of the day uh, is a great time to nap. 
because all time circa are kind of nap. But yeah, I would definitely be a little out of it afterwards. Speaking from prior experience. There, that looks like it's in order. Uh. You must be Nancy, the new deputy. Wow, I saved time. That's uh, not what I expected. Pleased to meet Based on that, what are you working on? really just, just some light generally poor movement. Huh? Housekeeping? Keeping artifacts clean is an important aspect of preserving them. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? See you around, Henrik. That will be fine. There, now I can start putting this together. Come on. That's done. Uh, no. Well, that was bad. Oh, that was bad too. That was also bad. That looks right. I only need ten followers to. Oh my god! <laughs> I got distracted by reading your comment. Um, I only need ten followers to affiliate. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that. How may I help you? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew, the new deputy <laughs> No, please don't shut up. That I oh, I've got a minute of time saved. And I've also just I'm just not focused. So it's not your fault. I just need to be better, you know. Wow, I didn't realize I hit 40. That's that's pretty cool. They became known as the conquistadors or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their weapons. Well, uh, if, you, if you have any friends who you think might be interested in the stream. <laughs> Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Nah, no, honestly, I, I'm just excited to have 40. For something that happened long 50 be cool, though. There is more. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed. And the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. I see. Well, I should probably get going. Here are the changes to the loan agreement. No, go for go for news. I love news. I just need your signature. Please. I just need to be less dumb. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Are you sure? I don't mind waiting. You may consider your mission accomplished. Yeah, we, we well, both want the news, uh, so let's do the okay news. Then. Goodbye. Oh, wow, this is a lot of time loss. It's about time. Oh, my fears are Yeah, like 15, that 15 makes sense, but it's carcass. just sad. Want a cookie? They're from Wahoo. Congrats! No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in jeopardy. Wow, that's awesome. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Okay, so now we need the whole story. Play by play, what happened? Ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. What does this have to do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. Does Joanna share your concerns? I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask yeah, for it me. doesn't have to be I super romantic or anything. Concern, but what can I do to help? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat That's really ears. nice. We need you to sniff out the stink. Congrats to you too. I'll do my best, but it sounds like what you really need is a new breed of police dog. Don't play modest mouse with me. Okay, no more flattery. Hey, that's an interesting piece. There by your desk. Something tells me Yay, it's being not happy. Maya artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. <laughs> I, I also oh, love the modest mouse line. Serious, De Niro. I'd better get going. See you around. 
Because, like, I know the band didn't exist when this game came out, but now it's all I can think about when, uh... That's all I can think about when I hear that line. Beach Hill's been hit! Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. Topeka Commission for the Arts. That's the organization Putin's Someone has cooked up my for. worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'd like to have a look Honestly, at I'll admit, I don't know any of their songs besides the Float On, but I'm sure the others are good, too. The police too. took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Oh, no. Need something? Have you seen? Yeah, sure. Whatever. I found a that movement just happened. The Pakal display case. It had and I can't pretend it didn't happen. And a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I? Fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Okay, great. Did you happen to see the thief's message? The police showed me the note. It said oh, the magician suffers yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. There are Why great are songs on all their albums. That's that's what I hope for I've for most worked. music I listen to. <laughs> So the handprint was made from mercury and sulfur. Need something? I did the chemical analysis you suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing mercury and sulfur. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure. sure. Cinnabar. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Uh, I can't. I can't not around? quote this game all the time the now. It's a very quotable game. Like at least the quotes I'm quoting are, are usually pretty good. Those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. But like other games, I just quote them while I run them, and it's like I don't even like this line. It's just. I've just heard it so many times, it's like, yeah, might as well, you know? Oh, still lost time, dang. At least I'm consistent. Yeah, Shaw's very quotable too. Amnesia? Henrik must have taken a real nosedive off that pyramid. Do you think he just fell, Nancy? Or was he pushed? Amnesia? About hospital visiting hours. Yeah, but you'd better get the lowdown from Joanna first. George is right. She is your supervisor, after all. That's like a weird note to, like, end a call on. Oh yeah, she's your supervisor. Like, we're not gonna say bye or anything. Just gonna remind you that Joanna is nominally your boss. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just... This theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um... I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well... I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy... Thanks. This message this is for Nancy Drew. Hi, Hi Nancy. This, this is Miss Bluefoot. Calling from Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital in regards to Henrik Vanderhune. I believe you're a colleague of his. Since Mr. Vanderhune was admitted, he has. Does anyone know who the voice actor for Nurse Bluefoot is? Because 
They're they're great, and I just need more Nurse Bluefoot voice in my life. Yeah, I don't know either. I, all I know is Nancy's voice actress. Thank you. I definitely had an extra zero in there, but hopefully it doesn't matter. Yeah. CJ probably would know. Yeah. You left me a message regarding Henrik Vanderhoon. How is he? Nancy Drew. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. We've been Apparently Henrik and Red Knot are the same voice. And we do like MP I heard a rumor about that. Have at least one personal support person when they begin reality orientation. What's reality orientation? Once well, reality it, and once I was told it, I could like kind of hear it, but still not quite. Which, if it's true, just means that they're a great actor. Of his or her life. Henrik has not actually lost his memory. It's just that his brain is injured in such a way that he can't... Because, like, I was also told that uh, the guy who does uh, Johnny Roll in Ransom is also Frank Hardy's voice actor. And that I heard. Once that was pointed out to me, that I, I, could, I couldn't unhear that. Which was a shame, to be honest. Come in. You can't help Henrik remember his childhood, but you can probably help him remember his work, and who knows where that will take him. <laughs> all yeah, I wasn't crazy about Rand, but my goal is to finish all the games, so I finished it. This is a place to post information and pictures I mean, he's basically the only character in the game, really, you may want more or less, besides Nancy, George, and Bess. He's like the the dude you meet at that one beach. Well, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. And when those infernal hours, monkeys hours are 10 to 4 damaged his boat. If the patient is not engaged in treatment and if he seems stable. Stable how? Just remember, Henrik's brain has been knocked around like a peanut in its shell. He may have attention difficulties, headaches. Do I have a fave, probably Kerr. Sometimes and I I know I know that's uh, unpopular with uh, certain people, but <laughs> I'm a big fan of her. Thanks for the warning, Nurse Bluefoot. Yeah, Oxel's who I was referring to. And I don't understand why it's so it's so pleasant. Keep it real, Max speaking. Hi, it's a good time. I'm deputy curator over at Beach Hill Museum. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions. Yeah, it can be very confusing, especially towards the end, because it's just so open-ended. Like, what, one, once you've gone through the beginning, it's just like, alright, you gotta do all these things in pretty much whatever order. There's some constraints, but... You're sure it was last week? Oh, that's what it says here. Do you know who placed that order? And then, like, you get to the very end, which is when everything finally comes back together. So it's, like, very easy to feel, like, kind of lost. we didn't ship it at all. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. Can you remember anything about the person who picked up the package? Because you can do a bunch of things that do, in fact, progress you, but you don't really know why. Well, thanks for your help. Or how it gets you towards the goal, unless you've, like, done it before. We only used a top-grade mercuric sulfide. Problem? Uh, not that I could hold you responsible. I like that, personally, especially since I've finished it and I sort of know how it works now. But yeah, definitely, uh... As a kid, it was, it was rough. It was still the first game I ended up completing, though. Despite all that. Dang, I keep losing time. That's a bummer. Keep it real. Oh, that was too many spins. You look familiar. Is it 
time for my snack? Hi, Henrik. I'm Nancy. We met at Beach Hill before your head injury. Beach Hill? Beach Hill is a museum. Now it's not your, your fault I lost time. I lost 0.2 oh, yeah, seconds. Like, that just... I didn't move quite as well, you know? You but that's what it's mostly like, project? how fast you dial the phone numbers. remember my own birthday. So if you're here to squeeze me for Do details, not feel sorry about it at all. I, I'd rather time. I'd rather be talking to chat than have an extra point two seconds, you know. You get your memory back more quickly. How, pray tell, do you intend to do that? I'll visit, we'll talk. Sometimes I'll bring you pictures. Pictures? Well, isn't this nice? Come on, Henrik. Yeah, like I can kind of hear it, but it still feels not right. I've got a picture with me if you'd like to give it a try. Fine, I'll do it. Okay, here we go. These symbols mean the magician suffers. It's so well hard dead. to remember to pick the right option there. I should know. I am the if you pick the wrong option, then uh, you lose you quite a bit of time. That first glyph is the fool, not the magician. Furthermore, any decent epigrapher knows those glyphs refer to the infamous plague of oozing hives. A fitting yeah, I can't really imagine Red saying I infamous plague of Henry, oozing hives. This note was found at a crime scene. No matter how hard I try. You, you left it there. I don't remember. I'm investigating the theft of the Bacall carving. Please, Henrik, try to remember something. Who in the world is Bacall? Oh, my head. Oh, the pressure. I can't take any more today, Nancy. Okay, it's time for some memory, memory therapy. therapy. Nancy, could you come back tomorrow? It's a fiasco just as I feared. Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole thing. I see you've spoken with Joanna. I was in the museum when it happened. Do you think it's the same person who carried out those other thefts? That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Why do you think the thief is leaving this red handprint? To be a gruesome scoundrel? I need a photo of the Pakal carving. Do you have one? Uh, Joanna took the official print for her insurance claim, but I have a couple extras. Here you go. Keep up the good work. Well, look who it is. Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Do you know his name? Pakal. Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it. I must have. When the acts all dramatic is the one you oh, suspect the most? Not always. What could I have meant by this? Think, Henrik. Where's the carving now? I can't remember. Easy, Henrik. Oh, I still losing time. Dang. You just like it, it's, it just bugs me that it's like just tiny amounts every sure, time. Henrik? Did you plan to sell the it's like it's not even a big chunk. Market? Just like protect him. I had to protect small him. bits every oh, single Pakal. split. Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. Like, like what's an example of whoever is most dramatic is kind the most suspicious? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even. Because I don't. Know, for me, sometimes it's like the. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. The the quiet, mysterious one ones, or I'm like, what's brought. your deal? You know. That key goes to the lock where you hid the Pakal. I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. You can count on me, Henrik. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. Hello, Nancy. Why did Mexico oh, choose to lend shoot. the monolith to Beach Hill and not some other museum? Johanna Riggs outbid everyone. 
I had no idea. Oh, I keep so wasting all this time. The beach Hill could afford such an expensive arrangement. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory, too. What are you talking about, Alejandro? I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. First you tell me you were unconcerned about the theft of the Pakal carving, and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Uh, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Hmm. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. Do you know Honestly, I never suspected uh, the Maya Taylor in this game just because it always seemed a little too obvious. Cool, it's like he's the guy who loves selling art. What is your point? I think Joanna may have been less than truthful with me. Have you called the police? I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. See, you have a special delivery for me, I hope. Here's your file, as requested. Good work, my friend. Oh, I could have saved like so much more time there. A deal's a deal. The Nahuatl That's a bummer. Snake is coatl. C O A T L. Muchas gracias. Gotta go. Adios, Nancy. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. The radio tube went out. Ugh, I'm so bad at this. H was tells you extra fluff for the red herring and distract you by saying things that don't. Oh my god. Gotta turn it off twice. I mean yeah, that's what they always do. That's the that's the point. They gotta not make it super easy, you know? a woman named Prudence Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts, and that they've donated money. I don't. Know, I feel like these games most of the time, like they give you, they give well, about almost all the suspects like good mo motivation for doing whatever the crime is. It's like you can never be too sure. Until you know, at the very end, when they finally give you like the, hey, this it was definitely this person's evidence. You know that that final piece. Ah, yes, here we go. Got a pen? I mean, 
You know Taylor's up to shady stuff, but you don't necessarily know it's connected to this right away. And the fact that, you know, he's like, hey, it's a shady art dealer, that seemed too obvious to me, so I was like, it, it won't, it's, I feel like it's rarely the person who it always seems to be, so the fact that it was in this game, I don't know. I found that kind of surprising in a meta sort of way. That way I can say hello, and she'll be expecting you. That would be great, Mr. Rose. Not a problem, dear. You have brought me back to my work. What have you remembered? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. I'm sure of it. Who is this whisperer of silent secrets? The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name. But I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history. I don't know. For me, it just seemed like Taylor was the red herring character. His ascent to the throne. How did Pakal wish to be depicted? From the age of twelve, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true, authentic king of the Maya. Then the Whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite a blow to Pakal's image. What happened to the scribe's writings? Pakal swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Does this mean that the monolith is hollow inside and, and full of bones? That's the idea. Does anyone else know about this? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. But this is where my memory fizzles out. I, I mean, that's the fun of the mystery, is that, you know, different people can interpret everyone's motives different ways. Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb. Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of the temple exhibit. Huh. Now, how did I think of that? And another thing. You'll need to get past that computer quiz. Sonny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of, but Sonny was petrified of the Coatamondi. It's an ornery bandit with a narrow an snout and a bandit. ring tail, much like a raccoon or a polecat. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. All right, see you, Nicole. Have a good night. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. And thanks for the good luck. Hi, I'm hoping to speak to someone about the theft that happened there recently. Are you the press? You're, you're no, about to miss the boring part, so no worries. A similar crime in Washington, D.C. This is Sheila Schultz, the director. What would you like to know? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. I Except I saved eight seconds, apparently. That's interesting. Stolen recently. Did I... That's I might have skipped something. And the police here have I don't know no why I saved all that time. Each hill was robbed too. We lost one of our prized jade carvings. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm wondering if the robberies are connected. Do you mind? No, if I, I, you a I don't think I did. About the incident it's just at Chaco Canyon. Fire away. What types of artifacts huh. did the thief get away with? Only the center's most prized. I guess I've just never had a good the case contained five split there. Colombian artifacts that were excavated Spooky. right from this area. Which piece would you say is the greatest loss for the center? Definitely the jade carving. It was highly unusual. There was a glyph on it that no one could translate. Until we hired Henrik Vanderhuhn, that is. His opinion was that it's Mayan in origin, and that it may have been a place name glyph for this area. As you can imagine, we regarded it as something of a regional treasure. Could you send me a photo of that jade carving so I can take a look at the glyph? I'm afraid I sent our only print off to the insurance company. They said they'd return it, but who knows when our claim will be processed. 
I'm sorry. I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Shoutouts to the phone still ringing throughout this entire well, conversation. We our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. That just might work. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thanks a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. That was a slow dial right there. Ah oh well. Daddle residence. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle, please? Speaking. Mr. Daddle, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot, but I'm calling regarding a Maya artifact that was bought at auction in 1898 by one Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Daddle Sr. was my great-grandfather. You're talking about the jade carving, right? Yes, exactly. Wow, I can't believe my luck. Well, it's a lucky, it's a lucky life. life, if you ask me. So what can I do? I can never time investigating a recent that long pause in, involving similar well, really in all of Henry Daddle's lines, but the one before he says it's a lucky life. Great -grandfather bought would be very helpful. It's a long pause. I see. Well... I was the last to inherit the carving, but my daughter Penelope was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you about it. All right, time for the marathon combos. Five, 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 three, one, nine, seven. Will do. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My pleasure. Uh. Hello. Hi, is this Penelope? Whoa. Oh, is that a Timo I see in here? Five, 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 three, Nick one, Lurkin? Seven? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. With a very Except pretty snowflake badge. World, and anyone else who made it out of the 20th century, I'm Poppy. The art world? Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Ta-da! Ping, ping! You win! Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a detective. A detective? No way. So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? I don't run into too yeah, many Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Lovely, but there's plenty of How's your stuff? Saturday evening so, going? Where'd you get my name? Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the FBI or something. That would be too scandalous. No, no. You see, it's all a big coincidence. Your dad's name came up in connection with a case I'm working on. Go, Dad. Don't tell me he's wanted by the FBI. I'll be so jealous. Sorry, Poppy. There's no FBI in on this case, and your dad's not wanted. Okay, what then? Someone is stealing Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be exact, and leaving this scary red handprint at the scene of every crime. Ghastly. So, what's with the red hand? It seems like some kind of threat. But to whom? And what is this thief really after? But to whom, Steve? I'm sure of it. Drama. So, where do the Daddles come in? I got a tip that your great great grandfather bought a jade carving, much like the ones that are being stolen. I'm hoping to take a look at it. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. Poppy, Poppy. what were you thinking? You'll never get it back. That's the whole point. Have you heard the saying that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? Well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing as different people encounter. Well, you're about to remember I'm tired as quickly of as possible. I'm all about letting go, about sending my work into the world and seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to I, art if it I wish I could use that as an excuse in my life. And, and, 
Like, you know, T Tober, why did why did you lose the very viable ba vase? It's an organic process, you know? You find the vase, you lose the vase, and then suddenly it's a bunch of glass shards, and you can make something else out of them. It's, it's an organic process, you know? So let me tell something that wouldn't work for me as well as it works for Poppy. The one with the rubber shark. Yes, I've seen it, but I didn't notice any jade carving. Well, take a closer look there, sweets. It's in there. If you really need the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? But wouldn't it ruin your painting? Of course not. After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The organic process. Inviting my viewers to interact with my work. The deal is... You can take the carving, but you have to put something in its place. Something in its place? Like what? An old shoe? A subway token? A movie stub? No, it should be something more organic. Stay yeah, with Nancy, the something Get more organic than a movie stub. And Come don't on. Be afraid to go way out. As an artist, I can tell you that inspiration bites in the most mysterious ways. I'll do my best. Right on. But let's keep Taylor out of this. He'd probably blow a gasket if he saw you tampering with the merchandise. That's all art is to him, you know. Merchandise. It's a deal. Good luck, Nancy. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Yes, hello. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling from Washington, D.C. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes. Franklin told me you'd be calling. Such dreadful news about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity of... Not these rapscallions. Oh, good heavens. I think rapscallions are too dangerous for me. What can you tell me about the necklace? I can't even think about it. Oh, just the very thought of my precious necklace gone, stranded, orphaned, and in the hands of some dirty stranger makes my blood boil. Was the necklace a gift? I inherited it from my mother-in-law. But you see, the necklace means much more to me than just a handful of priceless rubies. More? In what way? I had the necklace restrung to include an exquisite jade carving as the centerpiece. The more I listen to this conversation, the more I realize just how different this iteration of Prudence's voice is from the one in future appearances. A Rutherford family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. What does the jade piece look like? It features a rare glyph. No one it's interesting. able to give me a precise translation. But most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color green, and the direction south. It's Because, like, I like this voice, but I also like the, the more refined versions that they do later on in, like, Venice and the, uh, everything else she's in. Too lazy to remember other games off the top of my head. What about evidence? The first thing I saw when it's all I Scarlet Hand, hand right now. Positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Ms. Rutherford, it would be so helpful if I knew exactly what your carving looked like. Could you send me a picture that shows it in detail? I can do better than a photo. The insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please. Please. But I could send that to you if you'd like. Perfect. Let me give you the address. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you will require, young lady, I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this all right. to me... Finally made it through all the phone calls, everybody. Give them a sound thrashing. I sure will. Goodbye. May I take a closer look at that wacky Dada painting? Be my guest. 
I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> yeah, because that's really funny. Pardon me a moment, Nancy. I'll be right back. I hope. I should put in my temple key card. Oh no, I got caught on the thing. Rah. Also, this maze is terrible. <laughs> Chess, how's it going? Sorry you just had to witness that awful miss. Could be better? Oh, why? If you don't mind sharing. Still? Ugh. You've had some really awful computer luck this year. It's all Dell, yeah. I, I haven't used much Dell products in my lifetime, but I, I've never heard the most glowing of reviews. Here's some virtual stream hugs for, for everyone. Hey, don't look for lurkers. Boswell 
Michelle Jackson and Rose. How may I direct let, let the lurkers this lurk. Is Nancy Drew. They're, they're having Can a good time. And Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. Oh, really? Why? I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I Wait, I've I did think we were 12 and a half seconds of time save here? From your case work, that's interesting. But instead okay, like we've that's fair. Look lurkers. for lurkers, but please don't, don't call worry. them out. I'm used to it by now. This is, this is a, a, a lurk-friendly no channel. Than my recent attempt at a ski vacation in Wisconsin. Anyway, That's why I will never, ever, 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 ever have follow alerts, because I hate them when I'm trying to just have, have a good time lurking and liking a stream, and I'm like, man, the stream is really great, uh, and then I'm just like a loud, giant alert bringing attention to me. You're not Kareen. Uh, you've definitely called me out in her stream before, though. It's usually her, she. It's usually her who does it, but one time you did. I remember. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. What do you want me to do? We're counting on you to catch this oh, red it's, it's the I forgot about the reroute. Just kidding, Had to kiddo. make sure we tell him about the Bacall carving. We'll see about you know, I'm surprised when I say I'm alive too, so that that makes sense. Can't really fault you for that. That's great. So the case is closed. I'll reinstate Joanna as museum curator, and we can get on with the business of launching this exhibit. Where in the world did you find it? Who's behind all this nonsense? Mr. Rose, this case is far from closed. Do you trust me? What in the world? Okay, I'm gonna try a thing. I'm, sorry, I'm gonna but I see what happens if I don't now. set the time. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do what you have to do, but let's get this mess cleaned up, alright? So you'll call Joanna I, and invite her I'm back pretty to sure her right away. you need to set the time to get the uh That's what I'm here for. Oh. to get the uh, the Chaco Canyon package, but you might not. Oh, shoot, that's the wrong thing. Need to talk to Joanna first. Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron Dirk would I to try and ruin my own exhibit? Well, now we have someone to, to raid when we're done. Lost time. I need you to go to the storeroom and start unpacking some of those crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code is 0677. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Oh, sick. We didn't need to set the, the thing. looks damaged. I'll have to choose which side of the cube goes here. Hmm. Interesting. This should be the last step. Inside. Me too. It's blank. Who's your friend, Nancy? <gasps> Boo. Taylor Sinclair. Who'd you expect, the Tooth Fairy? Looks like someone forgot her beauty cream. 
I guess we can't all age gracefully. I'm sure she would say the same about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy, but I'm afraid you're just not going to make it in the art world. Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? This tomb and all of its contents belong to Mexico. Wow, I lost Finders, keepers, three seconds on my PB. Huh. Nobody even realizes this thing has any contents. Won't they get a surprise when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective? Adios, Adios. Alright, finally had an okay escape puzzle. Behold, our heroine emerges from the tomb. Like, like a mermaid, mermaid from, from the, the sea. sea. Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. From deep in the recesses of time, a wise royal scribe whispers her thanks. And a priceless chapter of history is rescued from obscurity. Way to go, Nancy! What in the world? Ah! Confound you, Nancy Drew! 